Hey guys, this is Jeremy with Brindley Mountain Fire Apparatus in Alabama. Uh, about to shoot you a walk around video of this 2007 Ferrara Inferno Pumper uh, to help you as you consider this truck. Uh, I just spent about 15 minutes going around the truck myself uh, to try to get an overall uh, condition of the truck. Uh, I'm going to try to point out to you the worst parts of the truck cosmetically so that if you decide to move forward with the truck, uh, there won't be any surprises uh, for you when the truck gets to Wisconsin. You'll say, yep, that's right there's what we saw um, in the video. Uh, overall, the truck, I would say, is just in good condition for a 40,000-mile truck. Uh, it's not uh, super clean. It's not got anything terrible except one or two things that I'll point out to you that we're just going to have to take care of. I'll figure out a way to get it done. If you want to buy the truck, we'll figure out a way to handle there's a couple of electrolysis areas that are pretty bad um that i'll show you real clearly in the in the video so here's the video and i hope that's a help to you Starting with the paint on the truck, the paint's in good shape. Uh, you can probably see my reflection there in it. Uh, I don't know if you noticed or not, I noticed that the top of the truck is starting to get faded up there. That's because the truck sit outside here at Brindley uh, before we ship it to you. Obviously, we're gonna remove, this is not on the, on the website because we use a software to scratch it out. We're gonna remove all of that and then we'll do a good real strong uh, buff job on it that then once you put it in a fire hall you'll still have to buff it you know wax it buff it a couple of times a year but it'll keep the all the paint all over looking as good as it does um, on the sides and man not a lot of uh, even like nicks and scratches on the paint uh, but again it's just a 40,000 mile truck so that's part of the reason uh, the interior looks really nice uh, we don't even have, I mean, that's the most common place to see a bunch of wear and tear. These doors are not all beaten up like they often are from gear and stuff. Uh, guys getting out, um, in and out of the, in and out of the truck. Uh, there's your miles, 37,120 miles and 2,427 inch and hours. Um, interior is just really clean on this one, as we expect with uh, lower miles and big. Got a huge real rear cab. You can see that in the picture, it's probably on the website. Uh, a few of these kind of things where, uh, you know, the metal is just turned. There's a busted grab handle. There's one on the back as well. We would be replacing that uh, included in the price of the truck. Pump panel just looks pretty good. I don't know if you can see a few of these bait, uh, gauges are real frosted up. A few of them are low of oil. That would also all be repaired. We'd be fixing all of those things included in the price of the truck. Uh, got a big, nice, uh, deck gun on it, and, uh, this truck's actually got two hydraulic ladder racks, which I don't see very often. We also would be replacing that, uh, tarp on the truck to the truck, just because it's old and rough looking. Uh, the tires appear to be really good. Uh, the, the, uh, rear tires especially are... Uh, not a very aggressive tread, more like a street tire. So I don't know if y'all need aggressive tread or not, uh, but we can, obviously we can work on uh, tires. It looks just a little grimy and dirty around here, sort of normal wear and tear for a 15 year old truck or whatever it is. Here's the bad stuff. Um, so you can see this is electrolysis. It's not, uh, it's not rust. It's not anything that's a structural issue. It's just really ugly. 
I didn't see it anywhere else on the truck. It's very common to see it in a few areas. I didn't see it anywhere else except on both sides where the ladder rack comes in. I don't know if you can see that there. And uh, that just looks bad enough. I just think it, if y'all or anybody moves forward with the truck, unless you're trying to buy it at the lowest price, we're just probably gonna have to figure out how to, I mean, we know how to treat that, but just repaint that whole section so that it'll, well, and there's a little gouge there in the paint too, so that it'll um, uh, repaint it so it'll match the others is what I'm trying to say and get that gone for you. Uh, wear and tear on the um, compartments, they look pretty good. Uh, you can see the wear and tear. I mean, they're not, uh, it's not a parade truck, but they're just not very beaten up, again, because the, probably because the truck's just not had a ton of miles uh, put on it. Uh, the chevrons in the back are just a complete mess. You can see they're all coming off here and there. So uh, we would just be replacing all of the chevrons on the whole back of the truck. So you could pick your color. If you wanted to stay with uh, red and white, we can do that. If not, uh, you can pick your colors and we can put you some new chevrons on there. Um, this door back here, just pretty beat up compared to the rest of them. I don't know if you can see that. It's not real significant, but again, I just kind of want you to see uh, the worst parts of the truck kind of grimy around in here too. We might even be able to paint that, clean it up, make it look a little bit, uh, a little bit better. So, and then uh, just probably need to do some good cleaning on the windows and on the rear view mirrors to get it where we want it to be. Uh, so that's it. Um, needs a little bit of help cosmetically. That's all well within our wheelhouse. Will be easy for our team to do it. If you like the setup of the truck, once it's through our shop and gets all that list done, uh, it'll be a great truck for you. And I sure appreciate the opportunity to try to help you with your search.